Welcome back to Terra by the Bay. I'm David. This will be a quickie. Are you up for a quickie? <laughs> That'll be two in such short order. Um, Mike Lindell decided to go undercover at the DNC, which basically meant that he shaved his trademark mustache, put on a, a like a Panama hat and wore some sunglasses and walked around. And that was the about the extent of his disguise. Didn't even bother changing his voice. He was quickly spotted by TikTokers everywhere and videos going up about him. Apparently, though, uh, he got into a fight with a 12-year-old boy uh, named Noah, <coughs> where Noah was being, uh, he was talking with Lindell, and Lindell's like, did you know that 257,000 votes were found in your, your home state of Georgia? And the little kid's like, what are you talking about? What's your source? Trust me, bro. You're full of crap. And then he's like, oh, I'm not full of crap. You should go. You should be keep up on your news. And uh, Noah just basically trashed on him some more. And uh, that ended the, uh, the encounter. So first off, how sad is it that you as an adult man are going after some 12-year-old kid? And second, that 12-year-old kid out-argues you. I just went to Google and I typed in 257,000 uh, in Georgia. There's nothing in the news about Georgia ballots and them finding data. The closest thing I could find was like 17,000 uh, ballots. And that was back in uh, December of 2023. So... You know, eight nine months ago, there was a story about a, a story about some fake claim that there were some missing ballots or photographs uh, out there. I didn't even bother reading the story because the timeline didn't match up. So, <laughs> this Lindell's off his meds, man. I tell you what, and you know he doesn't have much money to go around harassing people. He can't afford it. But I'm gonna throw just a little quick reading here. Uh, so, Mike Lindell's been reduced to getting into arguments with 12-year-olds. Who then win the argument? What's the energy around Mike Lindell? <clears throat> the victory card. Yeah, he's a winner, baby. No, this is almost like an attempt. This is like Mike Lindell's last-ditch effort to remain relevant. The, the, uh, you know, he's, he's lost all his money. He's going to lose his company. And he's losing all his relevance in the world. And he's trying to make some type of spectacle in order to stay relevant. Yeah, and that's the cross. His, his, he, his star peaked a few years ago. And basically all these vultures came in. Of course they did. All these vultures came in and just stripped him of all his money. Why? Because... In Trump world, he was a star, selling his lumpy pillows on Fox News, you know, being fiercely loyal to Trump and the Fox News uh, propaganda network. Fox News kicked his commercials off because he didn't pay his bills. He's like a year in arrears on his commercials, what he's supposed to uh, pay and advertise on Fox News. So, yeah, he's trying to stay relevant. His star is falling. You know, his loyalty to Trump is the only thing that's keeping him in the news at all in the past you got the three of wands waiting for a ship to come in you know this i'm telling you for the last three years this guy went from being on top of the world to you no know, he's almost in the gutter type of thing he's just squandered everything that he's built up over the years uh for this current situation is the two of cups why did he squander it why is he trying to get attention it's the people, it's the bad friends that he hangs around with. The people that he met via Trump and they just fleece this guy. He's trying to stay relevant and, you know, maybe get his life back. His life is leaving him. He's trying to get it back. He's trying to connect with Fox viewers and social media to try and reinvent himself and keep himself going. Overarching energy is the high priestess. I don't think he's found the secret though. And shaving his mustache is not the secret sauce 
that he needs to get through there. He still, I, he honestly believes, and this is the scary part, he honestly believes he's sitting on valuable information to show the election was stolen, yet it's never made it to the courts in all these years. And it's always, you know, check back in two weeks and we'll have the the, the proof. And it's just every two weeks, every month goes by and the, the, the deadlines and the timelines keep getting moved. Lesson to be learned when you go on a crusade, you better be prepared for all um, all the uh, permutations. The, you get all the benefits and all the consequences of this crusade. His crusade was that the election was stolen and he was going to be the star and be the champion for Trump and get all this through. And all he's done is brought himself ruin. Outcome is the Knight of Wands. <clears throat> He's going to keep going. He'll keep going like the Energizer Bunny until he can't go no more. And, you know, he's going to he's going to take his stick and he's just going to, you know, just keep pounding the drum. Keep moving. Uh, keep moving this along, trying to for you know, beyond all reasonable hope that he's going to be able to somehow land this thing. I don't know if he's does he not understand does he not understand what he's got or what he doesn't have i'm, I'm really i'm honestly confused for him I'm, a, I'm i'm very worried for him but it's my worry for him is way too late his his family his loved ones his confidants they lost him in 2021 to 2022 they lost him at that point you know, when he's going to White House meetings talking about martial law and, you know, putting up all his money for these uh, lost cause court cases and stuff like that. I'm sure somebody tried to intervene and they uh, they didn't fail. They didn't succeed. They failed. OK, so energy. Uh, when he gets an argument with Noah for everybody to see how is this going to play out for Mike Lindell? I mean, that's a bad look. It's a bad, bad look because it's almost like, you know, you're you're bigger than the kid. You're louder than the kid. You're older than the kid. And you're just using your size to intimidate him. And the kid was just unflappable. <sighs> Eight of Wands. And it's there for everybody to see. It's broadcast. It's kind of a viral moment for everybody to see Mike Lindell and how far he's fallen. Yeah, it, it's just this huge disappointment. It's like, dude, what are you doing? You know, it's kind of like when uh, when I, you get one of those Karen videos where, you know, I want to speak to the manager and they film it and they put it out there for everybody to see. And it's the humiliation of watching, you know, watching the 12 year old be the adult and watching the adult be the kid. Uh, King of Pentacles and the death card. And there's the double card again. <clears throat> Broadcasting, showing his fealty to Donald Trump, the wealthy man who's been a disappointment in his 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 celebrity, his wealth, every his company, everything in this guy's life is coming to an end for the plain and simple reason that he chose to serve the guy who spouts off anti-Christ-like teachings. So congratulations. You have free will, Mr. Lindell. You made your choice. You made your bed. Now sleep in it entertainment purposes only. I'll catch you on the next video. Take care.